The Swedish embassy in Iraq's capital, Baghdad, has been stormed by hundreds of protesters and set on fire. The governments of Iraq and Sweden have both condemned the incident. There's been anger over the burning of a Quran by a man in Sweden last month. Let's go to our correspondent, Mahmoud Abdul Wahid. He's live for us in Nasiriya. Mahmoud, talk us through exactly what's happening there. Well, uh, uh, late on uh, Wednesday, uh, supporters of uh, Shia leader Muqtada Sadr uh, started gathering in front of the Swedish embassy in the capital, Baghdad, despite the barricades and the uh, concrete blocks that were set last month during their first uh, protest and storming of the Swedish embassy in Baghdad. Uh, but they tried, they infiltrate, infiltrated and they gathered, uh, started scaling on the walls and uh, stormed the embassy and set fire to parts of uh, the embassy. Now, security forces have been deployed in the area and uh, the angry protesters uh, were trying to prevent uh, civil defense teams, the firefighters, from reaching the embassy to extinguish uh, the fire. Now, uh, both foreign ministries in Iraq and Sweden have condemned the attack on the, Sweden, uh, in the, on the Swedish side uh, the uh, foreign ministry uh, uh, stated that uh, Iraq's uh, government or Iraqi forces uh, or highlighted that Iraqi forces should uh, uh, protect the diplomatic missions. On the Iraqi side, the foreign ministry has condemned the attack and uh, stated that the government has uh, uh, instructed security forces to conduct a swift, a swift investigation and to disclose uh, those behind the, uh, the uh, storming. As you know, that this is against the or protesting against the burning of the Qur'an, in fact, against another planned burning of the Qur'an. The protesters uh, say uh, that they blame the Swedish government for what they consider approving that uh, protest that is planned to be staged today, Thursday, in front of the Iraqi embassy in Stockholm to uh, stage another burning of the Qur'an. Right, so just to be clear, more Qur'an burning incidents are expected. Well, uh, if that happens, we will definitely witness more uh, violence in the streets in Baghdad and probably in uh, other provinces across Iraq. As you know, these angry protesters have been threatening. In fact, they have been uh, calling on the government to uh, expel or to dismiss uh, the Swedish diplomatic mission from uh, Iraq. And they have been threatening to also to take matters into their own hands and to stage uh, uh, violent protests in the streets if uh, any more burnings happen to the Quran. Thank you for that, Mahmoud Abdul Wahid, there for us live in Nazaria.